When you've been involved with a narcissist, it can feel like you're trapped in this pit of despair. All around you is darkness. You really struggle to see how you're going to make any changes, how life is going to get any better. But this video is all about how to do that, how to become more positive, how to move out of the darkness and into the light. So please do keep watching. First of all, if you're new to the channel, thank you, really do appreciate you being here. If you haven't had a chance yet, please do click the subscribe button. It really does help us to get the video seen by more people. I can only speak from personal experience, so this video is very much about what worked for me and my experience. And it may not be for all of you. A lot of people, they get stuck. They get stuck in the anger. They get stuck in the hurt. And it's, it's like being stuck in tar. Every time you try and move, you just pull back in to this darkness. And that's understandable. And I was there for a long, long time. It was all-consuming. It felt like every day had a black cloud over you. And it I, I did... I did, get, I did allow myself to be consumed by that. I fell into depression. I, I just fell into hate. And I don't want to feel that way anymore. I made that conscious decision that those negative emotions, they were impacting other areas of my life. They were affecting the people I love. And I didn't want that. I wanted a, I want a positive life. I want a happy life. I want a life full of hope and a life that I know that I can have and that I deserve. And you do too. But right now, you may feel like it will never be like that. You will never get to that point. Like every time you try and do anything, the narcissist pulls you back and you do not know how to escape. And I absolutely can relate to that and I, I totally understand why, how it can feel like that and I will pre-warn you that some of this might not suit you some of this you might think shut up that's airy fairy nonsense like I said I can only share with you what has worked for me and a lot of other people as well but you, you have to go with what feels right for you for some people actually being in that darkness that's where they need to be right now. I needed to be there for a period of time because sometimes you need to feel and experience that awfulness in order to appreciate the sunlight. What's that famous saying that you don't appreciate, you can't have a rainbow without having the rain. And I think for some people it's, you need to feel that anger, you need to feel that hurt, you need to feel those emotions, because that's part of the process, that's part of that grief, part of the grief cycle is anger, it is feeling th that depression, so it's normal and natural, and if you are still there, that's okay, but for those of you that are feeling like you don't want to stay there anymore, you, you've visited for long enough, you're ready to move on, then I'm going to share some things that really, really work with me. Um, the first one is distract yourself. I spent a long time obsessing over it. Not only the individual behaviours, what they were doing, and trying to predict what was happening and then manage what what they did do but then i wouldn't then i went to the point where i was obsessed with trying to understand it trying to figure out what they were because at the start i was labeling them as evil psycho lots of awful things that that because i didn't know what it was i didn't know exactly what what the label the correct term was so i i used lots of different ones and eventually i felt like i needed to know exactly what i was dealing with and then that became an obsession it became my daily ritual that i had to understand a little bit more i had to be able to look at what they've done and find an explanation for it and I'm going to come on to that in a little bit, but that obsession, it took me away from doing anything that I enjoyed. It took me away from normal life. It took me away from being me. And whilst I can understand being in that place, I also now 
coming out the other side, I can tell you that even if you can only take yourself away from that for five or ten minutes a day, do it. It is well worth it. Find a video on YouTube that's five or ten minutes long and just sit and watch it all. Put your favourite film on. Nothing that reminds you of them. Nothing that will pop thoughts of them into your head. Something that absolutely 100% distracts you from that. Because it's, that, it's just enough of a release. And soon enough, the more you do that, if you get into a habit of doing that for five or ten minutes every day, you'll start to increase it, and then that will start to overtake it. But just start small. Start with five or ten minutes, but that distraction really does help. The next thing I wanted to say was that whilst it is great to understand, I, I do think that understanding is a huge part of it. Remember that... That understanding, it's only as good as how it makes you feel. So, for me, I wanted to know what the behaviour meant. I wanted to know what what was going on. Because I needed to find I needed to know for my own benefit that it wasn't me. That I hadn't done anything wrong. Because I had those voices in my head telling me, well, maybe they are justified. Maybe if I hadn't done that, maybe it is my fault. And so, for me, the educating myself was about saying, yeah, I've made mistakes, I hold my hands up to those mistakes, but it doesn't, it doesn't in any way, shape or form justify how they behaved. And so I could let go of those feelings of guilt and shame accept what I do what my part in in whatever as we all have a part in life we all play our role and I accept mine but it did not justify their behavior and so for me educating myself was about that so be clear on why you want to educate yourself what is it that you're trying to learn for what is the purpose of it is it to is it to make you feel better is it to obsess over it just really examine that um, the next one is change the way that you think and this is probably the hardest of all and but it makes such a huge difference it's the biggest thing that has changed my life is the fact that making that decision that I'm not going to stay in this hate I'm not going to stay in this darkness I choose to live the life I want to live and I want my life to be full of happiness, full of joy, full of sunshine, full of rainbows, full of unicorns, full of nice things. And I can't do that while I'm here. And so I had to consciously make that choice that I was going to think like I was there already. Like I said, some of you may not necessarily agree with that, but you can do this on a small scale. You can start changing that mindset. Just the second you open your eyes in the morning, rather than straight away thinking a negative thought, think one positive thought. The second you wake up, say, thank you for my eyes so I can open them in the morning. Something as simple as that. Just start the day off with that simple change and see how it goes. I'm going to do more videos like this because I find... I. I personally think this is the way forward. I want to move past it. I want to help guys move towards recovery. And yes, there will still be an educational element to some of my videos, but a lot of them now are going to be focused on how, what does this mean and how can we move forward from that? I'd love to know your thoughts. Please do um, like our Facebook page where you get daily, much more than you get on, on the YouTube channel, you get daily um, hints, insights, and obviously the opportunity to connect with us as well and the link to that is on the screen it is www.facebook.com forward slash the nurturing coach don't forget to like comment and share and again if you haven't already please do click subscribe thank you bye bye